Alright, hello everybody, welcome back to another Borderlands 1 Nonsense Suck video, where today we're going to be taking a look at the Raven. The Raven is a doll combat rifle uh, with a red text that reads, Two more bullets make all the difference. What's unique about this combat rifle, other than other combat rifles like the Guardian, uh, besides the fact that it's legendary, is that this actually shoots five bullets instead of three. For example, if we take the Guardian and we shoot this, uh, as you can see, 59 in the mag. We have 56, 53, 50, etc. And if we take the Raven, so it's 68, 63, 58, 53, and etc. So, uh, yeah, that's that's one of the first things unique about it. Uh, this weapon has body 5 and barrel 5, which means that it's super powerful and super accurate. As you can see by the stats, the damage is 349, which is pretty high. Uh, accuracy is 94.6, that's because of the barrel 5. Then the fire rate is 15.0, which is the highest fire rate. You can tell it's body 5 if you just look at the weapon parts. Uh, on top of the, I guess it'd be the rail, that cylindrical piece, is kind of what gives it away. And then of course for barrel 5, it's the most smoothest one. Also you can tell by how accurate your gun is. This, uh, the Guardian also has a barrel 5, which makes it 94.6. Also the uh, Ajax Spear also comes with barrel 5, making it at 91.3, which is the uh, most accurate uh, assault rifle or some sort of combat rifle in the game, but that's for a different video. Today, uh, we are in the Headstone Mine, so we're going to do what we usually do for our Dead Sucks videos and run the map, go all the way through around, probably cut a couple corners for time's sake, then we're going to end by killing off Sledge. Anyway, let's go. Let's get on with it. Starting off with just normal kills. And yep, we get that kill skill in. Start uh, spamming the bum. The, 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 start spamming the trigger like we did for the uh, mugshot. Everything just tends to die. Uh, because of my poor eyesight, it's kind of hard for me to see these uh, uh, these bandits when they're blended in. So. If I just tend to miss, that is just my poor eyesight and my bad accuracy. I can't, I can't hide the accuracy, I'm sorry. <laughs> I guess I should also probably explain the build. This is my Bullet Storm Roland 2.0. I do have a video on this on my channel if you are interested. For the gear setup, we have a Guardian for Regen. Uh, of course, we're testing out the Raven. Uh, Defiler for uh, Corrosive Dots. Uh, and then the Chopper for main damage. We're also running an Ironclad because I found this on my Mercenary Lilith character, so I just gave it to him. And of course, we're running the Heavy Gunner Com, which is why the fire rate is so massive and my mag side is also massive. That's the first mobbing area done. Uh, not bad. I feel like this is actually doing pretty good. Let's see a Psycho. Here we go. Get rid of him. Oh. Watch your profanity, my guy. I don't know how these uh, midgets tracked me. Interesting. Alright, we're switching over to the Guardian for uh, some regen. Not too much, though. Cool. Uh, I'm actually going to skip these guys and go straight towards that turret so I don't die. Would have been smart to throw down the turret, but we're probably just going to do it afterwards. And then just take them on. Cool, he is dead, he flew. I'll throw this out. And try to get that kill skill. There we go. Perfect. Taking off all these enemies over here. Uh, with the kill skill, it becomes extremely powerful for mobbing. So I do not think this weapon sucks for that category. For bossing, I don't know. I bet if you can do it right, and if you have the right setup, you could definitely do some damage. Where did that midget go? There you are. Oh yeah. Now I decided to go for a, uh, a non-elemental version because uh, 
I, I feel like it's the most fair. And what I did there is I switched to my Rifleman comp because it has regen, then I switched to my Guardian for even more regen. That's, yeah, pretty good combo, uh, especially if you're doing this build. If you're doing the uh, the supporter build, uh, you don't need the Rifleman comp because you have the support gunner. I'm going to switch back to this and go to this. There's usually, oh, there you are. There we go. So I believe, I believe I've proven that this gun does not suck for mobbing, but as I said, I am curious to see how well it does for the bossing segment. There you are, that bandit. Very interesting. I never actually used this weapon much back in the uh, the early days of me playing this game. I've played this game for almost four years. No, over four years. I, my apologies. Uh, and I've never really used this weapon before. Probably because I'm not a, a huge fan of the, the burst fire weapons. I mean, that is kind of a unfortunate that a lot of these weapons are like that. But, I mean, it is how it is. Oh, okay. This one has a carnage, that's not good. We're on the last section of mobbing here. We're going to be taking on Sledge. Uh, I guess you can enjoy, I guess. When it comes to uh, beating Sledge, he is probably one of the, in my opinion, one of the harder bosses to beat in this game, just because uh, his attack method is just pretty, pretty powerful. Oh, okay. Cool. I'm just going to spike there for a minute. Alright, so for taking on, uh, I almost said Cromorax, <laughs> um, uh, what's his face, Sledge, uh, we're gonna like, throw down a turret, we're gonna shoot him around five times with the Defiler, and then get a kill skull, then try to kill him with the Raven. Probably won't happen in one, uh, session, but we're gonna give it our best. Alright, cool, kill skill. Oh, almost died. I gotta stay in the circle. Oh, get another kill skill. There we go. Good job, turret. Nice. Uh, once again, a, another perfect one, even though that gun unfortunately is garbage for the time being. Oh, hint, hint, wink, wink. Shoot, shoot. <laughs> uh, so as you can see by that, um, if you have the right setup, you can definitely do some damage. Uh, so, final verdict, does this weapon suck? Uh, no. I feel like this is extremely good for mobbing, but for bossing, I probably won't recommend it. Uh, just because this gun isn't too versatile or as powerful as weapons per se, like the spear or the bastard. Or even the chopper for crying out loud. This gun against uh, bosses like Sledge, you can take him out in just a couple seconds. But no, I definitely think this is a good weapon for mobbing, and I highly recommend it. Anyway, that's going to be the end of this video. I do hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!